Hello, I'm Robin Shepherd from Jai Muay Thai. I'm here today to do a tutorial on five kick defences. Um, I'm here today with Isaac James, one of my students, and uh, the, the, these, some of these will have been done before, but I'm going to lead on to these in a different video as well. So make sure you check that one out, and then you've got the, 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 the foundation for it. Um, so we're going to cover them. There might be a couple of twists which you haven't haven't seen before. Um, okay, so the first one. The taking the supporting leg, common one, you'll have seen it before, like I say. Uh, just go over a couple of points. When the kick comes in, you're stepping away from it, and you want to be striking just above, well, below the calf muscle. You'll find that when you're doing this in uh, slow drills, that it's not going to work too much. Um, how you're going to get this working properly is when that kick comes in at full power. Because if you see, when Isaac throws his roundhouse now, slowly, 100% of the weight is on his supporting leg. If I kick that, it's, it's not going anywhere. So when he throws, when I throw a full power roundhouse kick, the weight comes up off the supporting leg and gets transferred through the hips into this leg into the target. So therefore, yeah, I don't know how much percentage you've got, but it's a lot lighter and you'll find that the, the, this technique does work a lot easier. So when you're doing this in drills, uh, don't even try and take them up, otherwise you're just gonna you know, hurt each other. Uh, you've got to go through the motions of it, and uh, when the kick comes in, stepping across uh, out of the, the way of the, the, the power line and taking the supporting line. Change sides. Okay. So the next one, push kick off balance, so the round ass kick comes in, you can use either leg to push kick him back. Good, good scoring uh, technique this, because if you can put him off balance, it's going to score. Okay, so you could use your, your lead leg there. Uh, I like using the lead leg, the lead leg can be used for quite a few defences. Uh, if he throws his right leg round house, I can block. If he throws his, his left, I can block. If he throws a push kick, I can use, use it up to defend the centre line, if he comes in with a punch, I can use it as my push kick, if he comes in with a kick, I can use it as a push kick, so it's kind of like a radar, you can move it to what's coming in and adapt it. Okay, so next one would be uh, the roundhouse kick catch, you'll have seen this one again, roundhouse comes in, step away from the power line, uh, uh, overhand grip, yeah, the gloves, you got uh, the, the, the leg could get caught here, so it rolls off the back of the arm a lot easier, the catch, and roll off, return kick. There's different variations what you could do. Uh, I'm just going to go with this one. Just a note on that, there's different defences from Isaac's point of view. If I was to catch the leg by the ankle, I pushed it in the way, there, and again, good move because all you're doing from there is push kicking him away. That works, but only if you catch him by the, uh, the ankle. See, if I catch him further up by the calf muscle, he's not going to be able to do that technique. So he'd come in with the cross block to push away, okay? So just a note on that, two areas where you're going to catch the leg, the ankle and the calf, two different defences against that. Other side, so step across, kick comes in, step across, send it away and kick. So if you notice, when I'm catching, I'm not giving him that chance to think of his, which counter he's going to do, his defence against that. Is he going to push kick? Is he going to block? If you hold on to it too long, even a second, he's going to come back with that, that defence. So I need to get rid of it as quick as I can. One, two, three. Okay, so that's the kick to the body. And where you'd use this is... Yeah, it depends on your opponent, there's different, uh, there's different thoughts on it. Uh, I, I'm not a great fan of this kick. If he's sending his, his kick really hard at me now, essentially I'm just letting him kick me in the ribs. I know I'm stepping away from it, but it's, it's a bit dodgy. If he's not got too powerful a kick and you're handling them quite well, then yeah, maybe you can, maybe you can just catch that and return because you know you've got the better of him, you've got the strength on him. Uh, but what I, what I like to do is uh, use, that, use that catch as a counter to my punch. If I come in 
with a punch and he kicks my body, that's a good, good technique for him, so I'll quickly turn it into a catch. Doesn't give me much time to step away, but made the best of a bad situation. The next one is a high, the high kick catch. And it's a good idea for Isaac to send that kick up high because here is right, if I block two of the hardest points of my body, if he just throws a roundhouse kick at me now, bare shins to my, my ribs and I block that, he's just kicking my knee and my elbow. That's how your, your, your accidents and your, your self-injury comes from. Um, and it, it, it's a lot about where you kick, knowing where and when to kick. So for him, throwing a roundhouse kick to the body would be a good idea as a counter if I'm stepping in here with a punch, open the ribs. But if I'm waiting here and I'm in my guard, I could block that. He kicks my knee and my elbow. So a good idea for him is to kick up here onto the arm. Uh, less damage to himself, more effect on me. So that's where I'd use my defense, is uh, making this kind of an, an, uh, an L shape. Uh, the hand goes up, across, and it's got, this has got to be strong. So he kicks, catch, take it away underneath, return again. Just keep it simple with a, uh, a return kick for now. Okay, so kicks, one, two, three. Let's check from the other angle. Good. Good. Okay, so the next one is a push kick uh, from the lead leg. A catch. Doesn't matter which hand you use. I like to go with the, the right hand underneath, the left hand trapping down on top. The catch. Push it to the floor really quickly. As it lands, I'm going to land my own low kick. Okay, so look like that. There's really not a lot you can do because I'm sending that down. You can't, you can't just go like that. You've got to throw it with as, as, as much power as you can. There, so he falls. As I, as, I send, as I push that leg, I'm setting my kick off at the same time. I can step into it. You could do, you don't have to go with the, the, the low kick, you could go with the knee instead. So I, I love that one. Um, it kind of works for me. There's different, uh, there's different variations on this, and that's why I did this because you've got five different um, attacks, uh, uh, sorry, defenses against his kicks. Pick one that, you know, try them out. If they don't work, you can move on to the next one. Uh, some you might find really easy to work for you, and you can use them. So uh, that's been my tutorial on five defenses from the roundhouse kick. For more information on myself, visit jaimartai.com and thanks to the Warrior Collective for shooting this video.